Good evening, everyone. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy beginning of the week. Good evening, teacher. How was the long weekend? Tell me. <laughs> How was your long weekend, Pat? I'm tired, teacher. Tired. <laughs> Tired of <laughs> tired of doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I am working. <laughs> I was you were working. I was working too. I was working all day. So <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> no rest. You know, I know some people that they go on vacations and when they return, they are tired from being on vacation. That's that's crazy. <laughs> are you one of them guys? <laughs> How are you? You felt a short weekend. <laughs> do you think we're going to have this the next year? Or for do you think it's going to be like a permanent thing? I, I hope so. Right, I hope the same. Not because I rest, because I don't have the day off, but for the money. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand uh, the, the advice. If it's just for this day, the, the 16th, Mm -hmm. the Friday or all the 16. Yeah, I didn't days. understand either. I don't think they specified, right? No, I, I think it's not clear. Mm -hmm. Similar to the yearly bonus in December. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Two years ago, it was the maximum. I think it was 600. And then last year, the maximum was um, 1,200 the limit for without the rent discount, right? Let's see what they invent this year. <laughs> All right, good evening. What did you guys do during the weekend? Did you guys go out? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah? I, I will be listening because I was driving. Okay, is, this is Mario, right? Yes. Okay, Mario, thank you for letting me know. So before we start reviewing the topic from last week, which was reported a speech, yes or no questions. That was a topic from last week, right? Uh, last Friday. So before we go there, I'm gonna ask you guys some regular conversation questions. These are called icebreakers, right? So to test how we're doing with the basic topics, okay? Not the ones we're seeing right now, but with the basic ones, okay? So the first question will be, this is a very personal question. Do you like your neighborhood? Do you like your neighborhood? And I want you to think about it because the next question is related to this, okay? The ones who want to answer, you can raise your hand and then we can go from there, okay? So think if you like your neighborhood or not. The first question regarding that is, what is the best thing about your neighborhood? What is the best thing about your neighborhood? Okay, in my case, yes, I like my neighborhood. And one of the best things about this place is that it's a very centric location. It's a very centric location. So the supermarket, it's like 10 minutes away from my house by foot. It's 10 minutes away. And if I want to go to a drugstore, to a pharmacy, it's also 10 minutes away <laughs> if I walk. So everything is very close. That's the best thing, in my opinion, from where I live. What about you guys? I want you to share. Do you like your neighborhood and what is the best thing about it, in your opinion, right? Let's see, volunteers, raise your hand if you can answer the question. In okay, my opinion, yeah. teacher, mm -hmm. I, I, I like the, the neighborhood. Okay. But uh, I don't like sometimes when I need to, to, to go out to my house to move the car because I'm the, the last house in the in the passage in the, the hall same. repeat please in the hall hall mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. uh, then uh, then i have to 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 go to move the the car 
Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I'm taking a shower or, or eating or something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and you and have the, to go. And the neighbor knock, knock in my door. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's that's an inconvenience. All right, good. Thanks for sharing. Who else wants to share? What's good or what's not so good about your neighborhood? Let's see. Tatiana Michel, please. Uh, good evening, hello, teacher. Uh, I I like my my neighborhood because well, I have been living here since I don't know since I was a a little girl so i i like live here and just one thing i don't like is because i have near the river and when it's raining it's very complicated because i have to move my car because it's dangerous but uh, the only thing that i i don't like uh, but Everything is, is cool, I think. Nice. Is it cool to live nearby a river, Tatiana? Is it cool to live near the river? Do you like it? Uh, Except for I the live, car park. <laughs> I live in a, in, a, in a building, actually, but it's very complicated when it's raining because the river is, I don't uh, know. Overflows. They, Yes, so I have to be careful ab about my car because it's, it's in the street. So the river pass in the street. So oh, I see. I don't like. Okay. But in my case, I don't I don't feel afraid about that because I live in a building. It is mm. in, in a at least uh -huh. you you yourself you feel safe. So that's good. Nice. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Tatiana, for sharing. Who else? Who else wants to share if you like or don't like what things you like or don't like about your neighbor? Let's see, volunteers. I want to hear you guys. Manuel? Teacher. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. Welcome uh, back. <laughs> thank you. Teacher. Ya no se pidió. Se se fue el miércoles, Manuel. Sí, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Extra uh, long weekend. About, uh, about neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Do you like your uh, neighborhood? In, in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your neighborhood uh, specific. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I can say I had a, a good neighborhood, a good, good, good people. Uh, but I think in 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 every. Uh, what do you say? I I I forgot. Um, Colonia. That's neighborhood. That's neighborhood. Neighborhood. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. the same. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there are different uh, people. Yeah, we have good and bad neighbors. <laughs> yes, I I, I uh, um. Right now, I received uh, one call. About uh, about the neighborhoods that uh, they are very 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 loud. <laughs> yes, Bye. yes. In, in I uh, I apologize because uh, I am um, I go to I go to Christian uh, church, but okay. uh, in this case uh, we have two church, a small church in. In a community. Oh no, uh, that's a lot of yes, noise. <laughs> but they are very loud. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but why? I said we have a uh, uh, good people, good neighbors, but mm -hmm. uh, also we have a uh, 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 no, no bad people, but mm -hmm. they are not considered with other. Mm -hmm. right? Correct. They don't have. They don't show empathy with the other neighbors. Yes, empathy. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion, Manuel. Good. Let's see who else. Um, people who have not participated. I want to hear your opinion. And believe it or not, this is 
this is an interview question, right? In an interview, <laughs> I don't know how many of you have gone to job interviews already in English, but usually the interviewer is going to ask you a very random question to break the ice, to see that you start talking, that you start speaking, right? So this okay. is a good exercise so that you can get prepared for that scenario because you never know what they're going to ask you to break the ice, right? To start the conversation. Sometimes they ask things like, um, how was the traffic? Did you find travel? Did you find trouble coming here? Something like that, right? So they are, uh, they're going to ask you random questions. So you better make sure that you're ready to improvise, right? When it comes to English, you have to be ready for improvising. Now, going back to what we were saying last week, we were talking about yes or no questions using reported speech, okay? So we're gonna check it one more time. We're gonna review it for the ones that didn't come or because maybe you forgot. And I want to believe that you guys reviewed your classes during the long weekend, but in case that you didn't, <laughs> we're gonna review it, okay? So I need a person to help me read the grammar explanation for this portion, please. I need one volunteer to read this. Yes, me teacher. Please read it. Okay, grammar explanation. A reported question is when we, we, we tell someone what another person asked. To do this, we can use direct speech or indirect speech. Direct speech, do you like working in sales? He asked. Indirect speech, he asked me if I like working in sales. Indirect speech, we change the equation structure. Example, do you like? To a statement structure. Example, I like. We also often make changes to the tense and other words in the same way as for reported statements. Example, have done, have done today, and that day. Very good. Thank you, Christian. All right. So when we are reporting questions, it's similar because it's going to be in past, but it's not the same as when you are reporting an affirmative sentence. Remember when you're reporting an affirmative sentence, you just make the switch to past. Depending on what tense you're talking, you just make the switch in past. Why do we have to change everything to past in reported speech? Well, it is because we are reporting. We are telling something that somebody else told us, right? So if that moment has already passed. That's why the reported speech will always work in past. Not always in simple past, but usually in the past tense. Now, when I am reporting questions, specifically yes or no questions, usually it's telling me that I, when I have reported, I'm not necessarily going to use the auxiliaries that were in the original question. For example, listen to this. Uh, Christian read, do you like working in sales? He asked, right? This person is repeating exactly the words. Do you like working in sales? When I do the report of the speech, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily have to use the auxiliary. Can I use it? If it's convenient, yes, but it's not necessary, right? I can, to report the question, I can change it to an, a statement, like an affirmative statement. But in this case, the do, the yes or no part, we are going to report it using if, or we can use whether also. We will see it in a minute, okay? So just remember, you have two options. You can report the question directly as it was, just change it to past, or the more common way to change it to a statement, like an affirmative sentence, like you were telling, right? So yes or no questions. And here, this is the part that I was mentioning. You guys can, I need two volunteers, one for this box and one for this box, please. Jorge, please help me with the one that says yes or no. And Tatiana, please help me with the reporting post. Yes, no questions. In yes, no questions, we use if or whether to report the question, if it's more common. Are you going to the Helsinki conference? He asked me, if I was going to the Helsinki conference, 
-hmm. Have you finished the project yet? She asked us whether we've finished the project yet. Well, yes. Tatiana, please. A report, reporting verbs. The most common reporting verb for asking is ask. But we can also use verbs like inquire, want to know, or wonder. Did you bring your passport? She wanted she wanted to know if they brought their par passports. When could you get this done by? Uh, he wondered when we will get get it done by. Thank you. All right, let's go back to the part that Jorge read. Okay. And this is what I was telling you. When you report a yes or no question. If it's a yes or no question, you will report it using the auxiliary if. It's not an auxiliary. In this case, you will use it as an auxiliary if, right? Are you going to the Helsinki conference? He asked me if I was going to the Helsinki conference, right? Same here. Have you finished the project yet? She asked us whether we finished the project yet. Whether is the same as if. The meaning, it's the same. You can use whether or you can use it to report a yes or no question. It's, op it's your option, right? It's your decision. Either or, it's okay. Now, the verb that I'm going to use to report the yes or no question that I have heard is going to be ask. This is the most common. Look at this. When I report, he asked me. This is reporting, right? So the verb that I choose is ask because this was a yes or no question. So I can report it using the verb ask. He asked me if I was going, right? But it's not the only one. This is the preferred one, but it's not the only one. Tatiana was reading. We can also use other verbs like inquire, inquire, or want to know, or wonder, instead of ask in this portion, right? So I can say, for example, he wondered, he wondered if I was going to the Helsinki conference. Instead of saying he asked me, I can say he wondered if I was going to the Helsinki conference, right? The verb that I used to report, it can change, but the most common one is ask, all right? That's basically what we're reading right now in this exercise, in this explanation, okay? Now, there is a little bit of a twist when we are offering or when we're requesting help or when we're making suggestions. Um, Wendy, please help me read this box. Okay. Wendy? Offer, request, and suggestion. If the question is ma making an offer, request, or suggestion. 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 Mm -hmm. We can use a specific, a specific verb pattern instead. For example, offer plus infinitive as plus infinitive or suggest plus e. Oh, I and I and mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good. Would you like me to help you? He offered offered to help me. Can mm -hmm. you hold this for me, please? She asked me to hold it. Why don't we check with Joel? She su suggested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she suggested. She, mm -hmm. she suggested. Checking with Joel. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, what well, Wendy is telling us, we have yes or no questions like the normal ones, right? Yes or no questions like, did you bring your passport? Oh, when I reported, she asked if I had brought my passport, right? An example, those are the regular ones. But there are some yes or no questions that they are because we offer help or we ask for help or we make a suggestion, right? So this is telling me, in, if somebody asks me, 
Miss Vickery, would you like me to help you? And I'm going to report that question. I'm not going to say, he asked me if I wanted his help. Mm -mm. I'm going to use, he offered to help me, right? When the person is asking because they are offering help or anything in particular, if they're offering us something, we're going to report it using the word offered, the verb offered, not the verb ask. He asked to help me, mm -mm. he offered to help me. If the yes or no question was with that intention, right? Now, the second one, can you hold this for me, please? This one is a petition, this one is a request, right? I am asking for something. Somebody is asking me for something. In this one, I can use the verb ask to report it, right? And then when I am making a suggestion, when I am giving someone an advice or an idea, I can say, I can use the report. The reporting verb can be suggested, okay? If I say, why don't we have an extra hour of class? You are not going to say the teacher asked. No, the teacher offered. Mm -mm. You're going to say the teacher suggested having an extra hour of class. The only rule here is if you're going to use the verb suggest, it has to be followed by an gerund, ing. Okay. This is just for a general rule. Do you have questions until this point? Is it clear or do we have questions? No, no, it's no, it, no, it, no, it clear for me, teacher. It's not clear. Okay, what part is not clear? No. Let me know. Uh, he offered uh, in what case uh, he used in offer it. In when, okay. In suggest, no, when somebody is, okay. Me. All right, Wendy. When somebody asks you if they can help you, right? For example, if I tell you, Wendy, would you like me to help you with the homework? I am asking you a question, correct? But this right. question is because I am offering help to you, Wendy, okay? If I am offering you help, but I am using a question to offer the help, when you report the question, you're going to use the verb offered. You're going to say, Miss Vickery offered to help me. Okay. Cuando usted lo cuente, cuando usted reporte que yo le pregunté, va a decir, ella me ofreció ayuda. O ella ofreció ayudarme. Okay. That's the only, that's the scenario when you use that one. Okay. And then. Okay. Okay. Is there another one? Another scenario that is not clear or that you guys want me to repeat? No, it's not clear. All right. So the next one for this portion, we are going to see examples, right? Right now, I just want you to see the examples. So we have one, two, three, four, four. So I need four volunteers and each person is going to read the regular question and then the reported speech of that question. Okay? So I need four volunteers, please. Me teacher, the first Thank one. Thank you. Okay, Manuel, help me with the first one, please. Cristia, help me with number two, the second two. Cristia, please. I need okay. two more volunteers for the third and fourth, please. We need two more volunteers. Juan de Dios, help me with number three, please. Both direct and indirect. And then for the last one, number four, I'm going to ask Mr. Mario Villeda. Oh no, Mario said he was on the phone, on the card. Nelson Gavarrete, help me with the number four, please. The last two questions, last two sentences, Nelson, please. Let's start, Manuel. Okay, uh, may I read the, uh, yeah. the first part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, no question, expect yes or no as the answer. We use if of whether to report yes or no questions. Direct. Will you, de will you do this? Indirect. She asked me if I would do that. All right. So in this scenario, you are seeing the application of the rules that we read a few moments ago, right? If the question is yes or no, when I report it, I can use the word ask, okay? And 
for the yes or no portion, I will use the word if to report it. Okay, let's go with number two, please. Okay, and direct form is, are you going to the market? Indirect, she asked me if I was going to the market. Thank you, very good. And then you notice that it was changed all the, every time we report, we are going to use the past tense of the tense that was used, okay? So if this one was in present progressive, this one was in past progressive. If this one, the original was in past, the reported would have been past perfect, right? Nos vamos un tiempo atrás de cada uno del que se reporta, del que nos la dan, right? Number four, number three, sorry. Direct, will you help me? In direct, she asked me where I will help, help her. Very good, thank you, Juan. So this is the other option. If I don't want to use if, I can use whether to mention the yes or no part in the reported speech, right? And number four, please, Nelson, the last two ones. Number four, uh, as I asked you about a new cell phone. Direct, she said, Lama, real is um, all about a new cell phone. Correct. All right. Have you bought a new cell phone? And this is what I was telling you. This one is present perfect. Have you bought a new cell phone? This is present perfect. Me voy un tiempo atrás, sería past perfect. She wondered if I have have had if I had bought a new cell phone, right? So these are some examples. So Teacher, here's what, tell me. I'm sorry, uh, when, when we use wonder. Wonder, oh, in case, for example, here, if you don't want to use ask, you can use wonder. She wondered, pero obviamente ya no sería el mío. She wondered if I would do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She wondered if I was nombre. going to the market. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a general question. Exactly. You can just wonder, mm -hmm. but it's not going to have an object after it. Okay? That's okay. A, those are your options, right? You choose the whichever you feel more comfortable with, guys. It's not that you must do it or you yes. must use I tried, I tried uh, this uh, weekend to work in the homework. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the platform is very complicated because oh, they yeah. recognize if, whether, uh, the thing is that the platform has some, the platform also I has finished, some glitches. I finished with the, with a headache. <laughs> yes, the platform we need to be a lot of specific with the answer yes. that the platform has. Yeah, also some of you also, because some of you guys, we're doing the platform exercises and there is a, I don't know who was that texted me, some, someone of you texted me on Friday, I think, to ask me about the platform and they were trying to do an exercise of a topic that we had not seen yet. So, <laughs> so don't worry, we're gonna see the platform in a few moments because I want to help you with that. But first, we're going to do... Sorry? I had a lot of problems with my exercise. <laughs> we yeah. will see that. Don't worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you guys. So don't freak out on that. So before we do that, we're going to check this one. Okay. I'm going to give you the control, guys, so you can complete the questions. According to the instructions, you're going to make reported questions. Every answer has to start with she asked so I took the liberty and I answered that part. I started that part for all the questions, right? All you have to do is write the next part of the question, right? Remember, it's the same day, so you don't need to change the time expressions, right? So number one, this is going to be an example, and then you guys will do the others. Am I late? She asked, she asked me if I was late. That's what I would say, right? Who wants to go next? So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven, so we need eleven volunteers. I'm gonna give one sentence to each of you, and I'm gonna help you. Second teacher, me. 
Okay, Manuel, you will have number two. Cristia, you will have number three. Tatiana, you will have number four. We need more volunteers. Raise your hand, please. So you can also practice. Tatiana, I said number four, right? Okay. Claudia, you will be number yes, five. You. Thank you. Claudia, you will be number five. Juan de Dios, you will be number six. Jorge, you will be number seven. And okay, we're gonna we're gonna do those first. Okay. Um who was the Manuel was number two, right? Manuel, I'm gonna give you the control. Teacher, in this case, in this type of, of question, mm -hmm. uh, in the number one, uh, you you put the the the, the pronoun she. Uh -huh. Because the instruction tell me she asked todas las preguntas oh. van a llevar. She asked. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, very uh -huh. good. She asked me. You can if... write it. Do you want to write it or do you want me to write it for you? Yeah, I, 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 I can read it. I can okay. read. It. Uh, the question is: Is it cool outside? Uh -huh. Is it cold outside? Uh, she asked me if it was cold outside. Okay. Thank you. And then number three. Who has number three? Me. <laughs> um, Christian. Right? Okay. Christian, you have the you have the control. Okay. She asked me. Uh, if. Mm -hmm. They you have to write it, <laughs> I can't write it. Okay, then I'll do it for you. She asked me oh, if I can, I can. Okay. Yeah, you could. Can. Yes. She asked me if they I don't know. They what is the past tense of our? Where? Exactly. Said where in Paris. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's it, Chris. Thank you. Okay. Um, number four is Tatiana, right? Hey, teacher. Yes. Okay, give me one moment. I'm going to go back to this one. Just a minute. Okay, number four. And you have the control now, Tatiana. without the two. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. You don't need the preposition to. Going with number five. And who had number five? The teacher. Claudia. All right, I'm going to give you the control, Claudia. Oh, or do you want me to write it for you? Please, because I'm okay. Myself. All right. Let she me asked know. me if the meal was fresh. If the milk was fresh. Okay. Let's go with number six. That was one, right? Uh, you yes, have the teacher. You have the control one. Okay. She asked me if I was a doctor. Okay, thank you. And then we're going with, 
number seven, which was Jorge, correct? I'm going to give you the control, Jorge, just a minute. There you have it. From, from France. Perfect, thank you. All right, and we're gonna check them all right now. Okay, give me just a moment. And we're gonna check them, all right? So the first one, okay? And you will see why in a minute. If we show it, it is correct, right? But I made a mistake. I don't know why they wanted to change it. Oh, it was their person. She was asking for herself on this one. <laughs> she was asking about she, and I asked about me. So that was my mistake. Shame on me. Let's go with number two. Who did number two? It was Manuel, right? Very good, Manuel. You got it. Then we go with number three, who was Tatiana, correct? No, it's me. No, teacher, number four is uh, mine. Christia is number three. Yeah. Tatiana is number four. Got it correct? Number five, that would be Claudia, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Number six, that would be Juan de Dios. And number seven, that would be Jorge. So very good, guys, you got it. <laughs> Yo, la profesora, me equivoqué. <laughs> Pero porque lo entendí al revés. I thought she was asking me, but she was asking about herself. So we got it. Congratulations saw, to you guys. I saw this, this part, but I, I, I have a dude. <laughs> no me dejó nada, leer. ¿verdad, Manuel? Me dejó. <laughs> me dejó perder, Manuel. <laughs> she asked me, yes. Uh, in this uh, exercise, we can use... Uh, Weather too. Yes, you could use weather. However, the most common one please, it's usually if. Please, okay. please if. change if for weather in in number two, for example. Okay. It's not gonna give it to you right now like that because still they show. So grammatically, yes, it's possible. But this platform, they want the if. If, okay. D delete delete the, the letter A. Even if you delete it, it's going to give you the same. It's going to tell you it's wrong. I think it's the same with the platform, right? Yeah, exactly. The platform wants you to use one in a specific, but you have to guess. Can I, let's talk adivinar, right? So you don't know yeah. that. So in this no, one, I'm, 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 I'm correct with my answer, but the platform saying me, no, you are mm, not. It happens. Yeah, we will see that in a moment. But yes, one, to answer your question, yes, you, this part is correct. She asked me whether it was cold outside. Grammatically speaking, it is correct. You have the option to speak like that. This platform specifically, they wanted to use this one. That's the only thing. But in real life, you can use either or. Cualquiera de dos. You can use either or. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're gonna go to the. Where is this thing? Where is the platform? Let me check it. I'm gonna open the platform and we're gonna check those exercises that you're mentioning, guys. So give me just a second to load that screen for you. 
That would be section number two. In this book, right? Let's see which uh, which exercise do you want to check? Do you want to check from the first one? Yes, I have grown two. The second one is different items. Okay, this one, this one I gave it to you guys last yes. Wednesday, right? Two point four. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go to two point four. Uh, it's two point five, I think. Two point four, teacher. Two, uh, a partir de two point five. Yeah. So two point five. Okay. So reliable sellers. So let's read the instructions. It says match the terms related to online shopping to the corresponding meaning. You got this one, guys? Yes. This is no. <laughs> Scroll down. <laughs> we will do it in a minute. Yes, <laughs> All right. Number nine is this this one? Yes. Oh, My that's what I was telling you. Es lo que les estaba diciendo. We have not seen this topic yet, <laughs> so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this homework at the end of the class because we will see that topic right now in a few moments. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> because yeah, we have not seen that that part yet, but don't worry. Where is this thing? Voy a necesitar el one for el one by one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay, here's what we're going to do right now. I'm gonna let you go to the breakout rooms and I want you to create a short conversation in which you include at least at least two yes or no reported questions, right? So you, it can be any topic. It doesn't have to be specifically about shopping online or anything regarding the internet. It can be any topic that you want. The only requisite we have here, the only requirement you have, you gotta include minimum two yes or no reported questions, right? If you wanna use reported speech, affirmative ones or negatives, that's fine. But the reported yes or no questions, you've got to include at least two in the conversation, right? So this one is going to be about gossip, <laughs> right? You can tell, you can report what other person asks you, right? So I'm going to open the rooms. Ideally, it should be um, two to three for each group. If someone doesn't have the classmates connected in the, in the, um, in the breakout room, let me know and I can reassign. The rooms are open right now and I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes, make a conversation, make sure everybody participates in the conversation and include minimum two yes or no reported questions, okay? You will have 10 minutes starting right now. You can enter the rooms right now, guys. Rooms are open. Jose, Jonathan, Carlos, and Mario, are you going to enter your breakout rooms? Well, Carlos and Dennis is, is listening. Can you send me? Sorry? Do you want me to reassign you, Mario?
Yo tendría que tener la para poder ingresar, María. You can, in, you can enter this the room. Jose Rodrigo, are you just getting in the class? Hello, tell me. You are in mute, Manuel. Uh, my classmate, uh, I don't know. She doesn't doesn't listen oh. listen to me. Okay. She, okay. In, who are you Jose with? Who are you supposed to be Jonathan. with? Jose Jonathan Vigil. Okay. Jose Rodrigo también está acaba de ingresar. Jose Rodrigo, can you hear us? No me escuchaba Jonathan, aunque él tenía apagado el también Mi Rodrigo no nos está contestando. Lo voy a mover de sala. Eh, hello, hello. hello. Ah, oh, exacto. Hello. Hi, Jose. Jose. Vamos a hacer una conversación, ¿verdad? Yes. José Rodrigo, vamos a hacer una conversación. Usted va a trabajar con Manuel ahorita en esta sala, José. Muy bien, ok. La idea es que incluyan por lo menos dos yes or no reported speech. Puede ser okay. por cualquier cosa, como el jefe me dijo esto, the boss told me, o the boss asked me if I was oh, okay. hungry, so because he wanted to invite me. Oh, really, right? It has to be a normal conversation. But the idea is to open for the menos those questions, the yes or no, and report the speech. Okay? okay. Uh, that's the only report. I will see you guys in seven minutes. Okay? connector. Mm -hmm. Aquí está ahí donde usamos el microondas porque no agarra. Hola, José Rodrigo. Hola, Manuel. Eh, eh, I, I, am, I am working in a small conversation. For example, eh, may I ask you, hello, are you the new coworker? You can eh, answer me. Yes, I am. I'm happy to study in this company. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Uh, we don't understand the homework. Okay, you just have to create a conversation and you have to include two yes or no reported speech questions, Pero, right? ¿cuál es la, cuál conversación es esa que no entendemos? Es lo que les dije, es una conversación que ustedes van a inventar. Puede ser sobre cualquier tema, les dije, es tema libre. La idea, el único requisito es que lleven dos preguntas de sí o no en reported speech. De ahí el tema, ustedes lo escogen y que sea fluida, right? Eso es lo único, okay? ¿ok? Puede ser algo tan sencillo como, my boss asked me if I was new because he had never seen me before, ¿ok? Ahí ya hice una, ¿ok? Mi jefe me preguntó si yo era nueva. Ahí está usando ya reported speech de una pregunta de sí o no. My boss asked me if I was new in the company because he hadn't seen me before. Y la otra le puede decir, ah, really, when did that happen? Because I had told him, yo le había dicho, right, it can be anything. Puede ser cualquier tema libre. La idea es que en esa conversación se incluya dos veces una pregunta de sí o no en reported speech, right? Is that clear? Okay, teacher. All right, thanks. I'll see you guys in... Six minutes, all right.
We're gonna wait a few more seconds for everybody to come back to this session. Okay, now that we are all back, I need to check before I start asking you to give the conversation. Is everybody ready or do you need a few more minutes? Did everybody finish practicing or do you need a few more minutes? We need a few, a few more minutes, teacher. All right. I'm gonna... Yes, yes. Please, I'm teacher. Gonna... Perfect. I'm gonna open... Please, teacher. All right, I'm gonna open the rooms and you will have five more minutes, okay? It's okay, 8.56. Okay. You will have five minutes from 8.57 until 03, okay? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, I don't know if I I confuse, but we have to write some sentence or? No, it's a conversation. It can be any topic. It's a free topic. The only requirement of the conversation that you include two reported questions, yes or no questions. That's the only requirement. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Thank I will you. give you five minutes to start in right now, guys. You can go back to the rooms if they are open right now. I don't have the invite to get back to the room. Because um, this. I was in the number six, room six. Diana. Yes. Okay. La voy a mover y la voy a volver a agregar, Diana. Okay, no, thanks. No acepté todavía. Deme un minuto. Um, ahora. Okay, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Jose Jonathan, are you able to hear me? No escucho, Jose Jonathan. No sé si, va, si se va a incluir en la sala. Con Manuel y José Rodrigo. Otherwise, we're going to give them five minutes.
All right, and we're back to the main session. Before we continue, I'm gonna pass the list and be ready, please. Okay, you can say either here, present, or I am. So we're going with Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Thank you. María Concepción Cerón. Present. Thank you. María Elena Guadalupe. María Elena Guadalupe. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda. Olga Marleni Gómez. Olga Marleni Gómez. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian Natalie Erazo. Cristian Natalie Erazo. Okay. ¿Quién fue el último en quedarse el día miércoles? ¿Quién tuvo esa asesoría el día miércoles? Va a ser... Yo, teacher. Suleima. Suleima. Ok. Um, Nelson, have you already had your one-on-one? Uh, -on -one? ¿Usted ya tuvo su sesión de asesoría, Nelson? Sorry. Uh... No, teacher. Oh, no. Ah, pues ahora se queda 10 minutos al final de la clase. So, okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with hearing your conversations, guys. Miss, Room number one. I have problems with my internet. Who's this? Who is having problem? Christian. Pero ya le puse presente, Christian. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna hear room number one. We had Carlos Antonio, Christian, Natalie, and Tatiana Michelle. Um, let me know if you're ready, guys. Uh, no yet, teacher, because we didn't understand about the about the activity. We we what you do then? We create some sentence, but no a conversation. And then um, by minus we talk about the conversation. Oh, but if you created sentences, that's okay. Let me hear the sentences. As long as you did something, we're good. <laughs> ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we are ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are ready, Christian. Okay. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to read them, Tatiana, because Chris is having problems. Yes, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's, I know, I told you, I, I heard you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, we can hear your okay. sentences, please, and Tatiana. Okay, uh, let's start. Hi, Tatiana, Manuel introduced me to Claudia, who said she was pleased to meet 
I reply that it was my pleasure and that I hope Claudia was enjoying her stay in a taco. Uh, she said she told a taco was a beautiful city, but uh, it rained too much. And that's all. Yes. All right. <laughs> and we have some sentence. If you want, we can. Read the sentences, please. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know, Tati, if you want to start. Okay, I'm going to start. Uh, are you watching TV? Uh, she asked me if I was watching TV. Mm -hmm. uh, the second sentence, uh, can you teach me English? She asked me if I could teach her, teach, teach her English. All right. Okay, and I have, can you open the window, please? She asked. And she asked me if I could open the window. And the second one, may I use the bathroom, please? She asked. And she asked if she could use the bathroom. Very good. <laughs> nice, ladies. You did a great work. Listen, at the end of the day, that's what matters. One way or another, it sentences your conversation. If you use the reported questions, we're good. <laughs> so very good job, ladies. Thank you for the effort. Okay, Room number you. two. We're going with Jorge Humberto, Juan Dios, and Maria Concepcion. Uh, okay, teacher. We make a short conversation between the partners. Uh, hello, Juan de Dios. How are you? Juan de Dios, are you there? Sorry, my microphone was off. Uh, hello, Jorge. I'm well. What about you? Uh, uh, do you know if Maria is working at Telus? Because I want I want to to hear to to hire here, and I remember she was so smart and and she is a, a good. Uh, partner for that job? No, I'm not sure, but I'm going to ask her. Hello, Maria, how are you? Hello, I am fine. What about your work? I am tired. Oh, I know, me too. Maria, uh, Jorge asked me, asked me if you want, were working in TELUS. No me acuerdo. Espérate que ya no me acuerdo. Oh, I'm not. Jorge asked me because he wanted to hire you. Are you interested? Improvise, Maria. <laughs> yes or not? <laughs> Are you interested, Maria, or not? <laughs> uh, sorry, teacher. I will paper, not. <laughs> that are the, the two she's, question about she's not interested, Jorge. <laughs> I, she I said she's not, not interested. <laughs> this is a scenic part. <laughs> she said she's not interested. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I am scenic panic. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Jonathan. Um, sorry, Jorge, Juan de Dios, and Maria Concepcion. <laughs> Maria, remember, hay una frase que tienen que acordarse ustedes siempre. Se lo pongo acá en el chat. When it comes to speaking English, you have to be ready to play it by ear. Play it by ear means you have to be ready to improvise. Si no se me olvidó algo, I play it by ear. Improviso, right? Improvising, it's play it by ear. Mm -hmm. by ear. Yeah, play, play it by ear means adapting and improvising, right? So very good job. Room number two, you delivered good and you did good reported yes or no questions. So thank you guys. We're going now moving on with room number three. We had Jose Rodrigo and Manuel Antonio. 
Manuel, José, are you there? Hello, Manuel. Manuel. Manuel, you were talking a minute ago. <laughs> Manuel, can you hear us? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. It's your Sorry. turn. You and Jose are on right now. San Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's start. Hello. Are you the new co worker? Yes, I am. I am happy to start in this company. Could you tell me what is human resource? Yes. Go straight. Uh, excuse me, uh, when you see the boss, please tell him, Manuel said, if he had to make the report for the overtime. Of oh, course, sure. I will tell him. Uh, okay, very thanks. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you did only one question, reported speech, yeah, but it was because, done correctly. So. Two, two persons. Yeah. yeah, it's true. So very good job, you delivered. You did what you were asked to and you delivered. So very good job. Jose Rodrigo, thank you. Manuel, good job. Thank you for the effort. Let's go with room number four now. We have Ana Raquel Vialta and Claudia Melendez. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Hi. Claudia, you're in mute. Hi. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Hi, how are you? Great, but I have a secret thought to tell you. Okay, tell me. Mario asked me whether you had a boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> uh. Ya no me acuerdo de la otra parte. <laughs> Did he ask you something else? No, only that. Ah, uh, okay. He's very cute. <laughs> very good job, ladies. Thank you. Same thing as with room number three. It was only two people working, so very good job. Anna, you did good with the question, reporting it, so very good job. You asked, you use weather instead of it. So I'm happy because it tells me that you guys understood the topic. So very good, guys. Congratulations. And now we're going with room number five. We have Silvia Suleima and Wendy Manuel. Okay. She asked me if I was to travel with Iberia. I say yes. And she asked me if I was in Spain. No, I was not. I traveled to Italy. And the last, she asked me if my parents with, and she asked me if we parents to travel with me? No, they weren't. If Only our parents. Uh -huh. Sería if our, our parents. Yes. Uh -huh. Nuestro, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. All right. No, míos, nada más. My parents. Uh -huh. My parents. My parents, yes. All right, very good job. You gave me isolated sentences, but as long as you use reported the speech, you are fine, ladies. Very good. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Nelson Gabarrete and Diana Elizabeth on room number six, please. And also Mario teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna start. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, right now, I'm going to check the homework. Hey, uh, well, the, did the teacher say? Sorry, I don't remember. Can you share the screen, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
The teacher said that she was going to check the homework. Oh, no, I forgot in Mario. Did you do not the homework well? Yes, the teacher said yesterday that if we did not do it, she will repair us. Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you, Diana, for saving the day for the guys. <laughs> Diana, Nelson, and Mario, you. very good job. Thank you for the effort, guys. You just recorded the speech, so that the, that's what matters. So as long as you just recorded the speech, we're fine, right? Okay, before that, no, I already passed the list, right? Good. So now we're going to be checking. We're going to continue talking about reported speech. But right now we're going to talk about information questions. What is the other name we give to information questions? Do you remember, guys? What is the other name I give to information questions? We call them WH questions. <laughs> WH questions is the same as information questions, remember, okay? We just finished speaking about yes or no, reported. Now we're gonna talk about WH questions, reported, okay? So I need two volunteers, please. One is going to read block number one and the other one block number two. All you're gonna do is read right now. Jorge, please help me with number one and Manuel with number two, please. Okay, when we report question, the subject comes before the verb. Direct speech, where are you going? Reported speech, he asked me where I was going. Direct speech, why is he shooting? Reported speech, he asked me why he was shooting. Direct speech, what do you want? Reported speech, she asked me what I wanted. When reported, when reporting question, we don't use the auxiliary verb do, except in negative questions. Example, direct speech, who doesn't like cheese? Report speech, he asked me who didn't like cheese. Thank you, very good job. Thank you, Jorge and Manuel for reading. Okay, first question, first point, or first data, right? When we're doing yes, sorry, when we're doing WH questions, when we're reporting WH questions or information questions, the subject comes before the verb. This part is crucial, this part is important, right? Where are you going? It's the regular form, right? When I report it, I'm going to use the subject before the verb, right? He asked me where I was going. No puedo decir where was, where was I going? Mm -mm. In regular grammar, there is an option where you can do that, but in reported speech, no. It will be the subject before the verb in past, right? Um, why is he shouting? Gritando, why is he shouting? He asked me why was he shouting? Mm -mm. Why he was shouting? The subject will come before the verb, right? Ideally. And then number three, what do you want? She asked me what I wanted. Pay attention to this part. In this information question, this WH question, you have the auxiliary, what do you want? You have to do. But in the reported version, when I am telling someone else about it, I don't use the do, I omit it, okay? And then Manuel was telling us in number two, when I report questions, information questions, I don't use the auxiliary verb do, okay? Only if I am reporting a negative question, right? Who doesn't like cheese? That's a negative question. She asked me who didn't like cheese. But if I see the verb do those as an auxiliary in another, for example, in affirmative like this one, what do you want? This is affirmative, right? And do, I can omit it when I change it to report it. 
She asked me what did I want. Mm -mm. She asked me what I wanted. Okay, that's for you to make sure. Then we need two more volunteers. One to read number three and one to read number four. That has people who has not participated yet. If you want to read, this is your moment. I will read number three. We're going to read number three. We're going to read number four. Who wants okay. to? Maria, can you help me with number three, please? Maria Villada. And then let's see. Diana, could you help me with box number four, please? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Number Maria, three. Please. report, yes, no question with, if no, where? Direct speech. Do you want to come? Report the speech. I asked him if he wants to read to come. Direct speech. How do you feed the dog? Report the speech. She asked she asked me whether if I if I have feed the dog. Thank you. Okay, this is a summary of what we just saw. This is what we just finished talking about. Yes or no question. But I wanted to include it, include it here. So you see the difference with WH question. Thank you, Maria. And number four, please. When we report questions with who, what, or which plus to be plus object, the verb be can come before or after the object. Direct speech. Who is the champion? Reported a speech. She asked me who the champion was. She asked me who was the champion. Direct speech. What is your favorite color? Reported a speech. She asked me what my favorite color was. Um, I'll give you a minute. The other one is too small. Just a minute. I'm going to finish it. I think you will be able to see it. Just a moment. This one. Okay. She asked me what was my favorite color. Thank you. All right. So guys, when we report yes or no, we use if. That part, you know it, you handle it, so you know it, right? So when we're doing this combination, WH questions, specifically for who, what, which, plus the verb to be in an object. In that scenario, in that specific combination, I can put the verb to be before or after the object. It doesn't matter. Okay, for example, who is the champion? I have who, one of the options, right? Verb to be, and then an object. Who is the champion? In that case, I have two options. I can report it. She asked me who the champion was, or she asked me who was the champion, right? Only with who, what, which, plus the verb to be, and an object, right? What, verb to be, object. What is your favorite color? She asked me what my favorite color was. Or she asked me what was my favorite color. Okay. This combination is very specific where I can use it before or after the verb, the subject, right? Because remember, in the first one, first rule says when we report questions, the subject comes before the verb, but it's for the other ones. Where, why, or what when there is not an object afterwards, okay? It says, what do you want? It's not the combination que vemos acá, okay? What plus verb to be plus object. For example, what is your favorite color? It's not the same. Si yo veo what con el auxiliar do, el sujeto va a ir antes del verbo, all right? If I see what, any WH plus any of those combinations is before the verb. This one specifically, who, what, which, plus verb to be, plus object, that I have the two options. Just for you to keep in mind, okay? Now, we're going to go to the textbook right now. We're going to go to the student's manual. And we're going to practice a little bit of this, right? So, we're going to start talking on this. Let me know when you can see the, the student's manual, please. Yes, I see. That. Perfect. All right. So I have, I think this one makes it smaller. 
Give me one second. Okay, this one is bigger, I think. So, number one, do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online, guys? What would happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online? Okay, purchasing means acquiring, buying. Purchase is to buy something, right? So, two questions that we're going to discuss. You're going to go to the breakout rooms. I'm going to give you five or six minutes for you to discuss this with your classmates. Now, you don't have to create a conversation or anything. You just have to answer these two questions. Puede ser una cada uno, one each one, right? Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? What would happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online, okay? So, and I'm gonna give you examples how to answer. Number one, do you know how to keep personal information safe when you shop online? I think, <laughs> I want to believe that I know, okay? For example, when you enter your credit card information, Google always asks you if you want to keep or if you want to save the credit card information for future transactions. I always select no so that I don't want Google to keep record. I don't want Google to save my information, right? Because if it's in Google, it's exposed. That's what I think. <laughs> and number two, if my credit card information is compromised at some point when I am purchasing something online, usually the bank calls me and they are like, is this you trying to do this? And usually, yes, it's me trying to do the transaction. So, but usually if it's compromised, the bank will call me. That's that's my answer. Those are my answers, right? Try to practice your own. I'm going to give you five or six minutes for you to practice with your classmates. Answer these two questions, right? It's going to be the same groups. So you can just enter right now. The rooms are open right now. You can enter the room, guys. You can enter the breakout rooms. Silvia, Diana, you can enter the breakout rooms to discuss the two questions.
Okay, now that everybody's back, let's answer the questions. Room number one, we have Carlos, Dispia, Natalie, and Tatiana Michel. We have, which one are you going to answer? Uh, me, teacher, uh, I answer the number one question. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? I consider, or that is a good way for me, uh, receive a text mes message from the bank when I use my debit card, for example, because I know and I feel and I feel safe because I receive the message with the amount, with the with the time of time of when no how do you say? yes with the time of transaction and I think that is a good good idea because the bank send you the 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 times of transaction and I think that is good for me. Very good, nice answer. Oh, thank you, Christian. Okay, I think I have, I think I have an answer for the, do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you, when you shop online? I think it's like an advertisement. Uh, you need to know when and who you share the, your personal information. And mm -hmm. I have a one friend that had an experience, a bad experience. I told to Tatiana that she she shared uh, her address and someone i don't know who someone tried to to came to her house and stole stole uh, steal <laughs> yes uh -huh. try to steal huh try to steal her and and she lives alone and i think oh. it's very 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 dangerous so you yeah. need to know uh, when and who and and you keep your personal information only for you and with the safe people correct that's a good good story good advice christian tatiana thank you let's go with room number two jorge juan de dios and maria concepcion uh, teacher i answer the question do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Uh, we know there are many websites to, that sell everything. Then one advice for that is uh, don't buy in a website that you don't really know or you you don't have a, a good uh, advice from a friend or, or, or other people mm -hmm. because you are entering the information that could be used to, to robbery or- To rob you. Mm -hmm. robbery. Mm -hmm. That's a good advice, Jorge, thank you. Let's see the rest of the group. 
uh, I was sharing with my group, Jorge and Maria, uh, an experience that happened with my friends. Uh, he buy, he buy in, in a gas station, he put a gasoline to his car uh, in a station in front of Plaza Mundo. Uh, the vendor uh, stole his information. Uh, he, he took some picture uh, his, to his credit card and ID. And then uh, three hours after, uh, the, the vendor was buying uh, some art products in Bidri. In they didn't online. even wait that much. They didn't wait that much to do it. Yes. It was an experience. Uh, my friend uh, told me that he needed to leave out of work to to go to the bank oh, because they closed he, his card. He received a call from the bank. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's really crazy. That's at least he got the notification. <laughs> yeah. Nice, good experience. Thanks for sharing. Let's go with room number three. We have Jose Jonathan, Jose Rodrigo, and Manuel Antonio. Okay, teacher. Only with Jose Rodrigo. Okay. Uh, uh, I I was talking with Jose Rodrigo about uh, in my uh, personal situation. Uh, I. I don't like to to buy in this type of shopping uh, because uh, uh, what do you say? Desconfiar, desconfío. I don't trust. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> I don't trust in because when you when you visit this uh, address, this space, uh, you don't you don't know. Uh, about the guarantee, about the uh, save my information mm -hmm. because uh, my co my previous co-worker to uh, to talking about uh, the the rubber uh, about the the information, the numbers of the credit card in. In my previous uh, job, uh, the company have this type of uh, reclamo. What do you say, reclamos? Claims. Oh? Claims. So, claims. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for uh, for three months, uh, different different uh, customers. Wow. Yes, because the telemarketers, uh, I don't know, uh, the telemarketers, the personnel who who made the service, mm -hmm. uh, copied the numbers, and oh, they mm -hmm. and, and they call the uh, and they buy buy mm -hmm. in different stores, different products. Yeah. Yeah, uh, totally. Uh -huh. That's a scam, yes, uh, right? I I I I see this this issue is uh, that's why I I I don't like I don't mm -hmm. like only only my cash. <laughs> totally agree. Totally agree with you, Manuel. Let's see, Juan, uh, Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Yes, in, in my case, no problem. This uh, did not make portions online. Okay. Everything was done using the traditional method, direct paying the provider. All right, perfect. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, let's go with room number four, Ana Raquel, Claudia Melendez, and Wendy Maribel. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, we recommend uh, 
for the question, do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Uh, we recommend uh, to buy only on safe sites, um, sites, uh, sites with a secure connection with padlock icon. Okay, that's Other a good advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, other recommend recommendation is uh, have only one credit card for shopping online. That's a better recommendation than do the ones that, that, I, that I did. Guys. <laughs> one day I woke up, I don't know if I told you this one time, I woke up in the morning, at woke up at like at 6 a.m. Give me one second. So I woke up like at 6 a.m. and I saw a notification on my cell phone that there was like a charge for like $25. And I and the charge happened like at two in the morning. I woke up at six and I saw it, it had happened at two in the morning and I was like, what? Somebody's using my credit card, right? And then I called the bank and they didn't know what it was because it was very recent. You have to wait 24 hours to see and everything, right? And then they told me, I, I blocked the card, right? I told them to block the card because I didn't recognize that transaction. And later that day, <laughs> I remembered that I had the, the port, I had an automatic automatic purchase on Amazon. <laughs> so it was, it was me, it was myself, my own mistake. And I blocked my own card. <laughs> so yeah, very, what you're saying, Anna, it's a good advice. Have only one card to the transactions online. <laughs> good advice. Okay, and now let's see, Claudia, do, are you gonna answer yes, one teacher. of the questions? Yeah. I was, is right. Use a unique password for portal in case our password is compromised. If your password is the same across multiple platforms, cyber criminals can more easily access, access other counter, other account of yours. That's true, very good advice, girls. Wendy, are you, do you have something for us? Wendy, are you gonna answer one of the questions? Oh no. Okay, we go with Diana Elizabeth then and Nelson Gavarret. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, she, she, she said the, that the has about in the money, please, with a credit card. About it, she has and never had about experience in her uh, purchase. Okay. No problem, no problem with bank and charter. Very good. Lucky her. Thank you. Okay. Diana? Okay. In my case, teacher, well, um, when I buy online, I try to to do it only in websites that I know that are safe. And also the things that help me is to always check my bank app to see the movements I make. And and like like you say, uh, if I saw something that I, I didn't do it or I didn't buy, to call the bank. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good advice. Thank you, everyone who participated. I'm going to stop sharing here and we're going to go to the platform so we can now check the WH questions. All right. Swear with me. Now we can talk about WH questions, right? So it was telling me it says convert the direct WH questions to indirect speech or report the speech. Antes de ver la respuesta, quiero saber qué pusieron ustedes, qué habían puesto. Por ejemplo, en el número uno, how many children do you have? ¿Cómo la pasaron a reported speech? Teacher, he asked me uh -huh. how many children I, I had. How many children I had? Yes. Okay. He, he asked me. Okay. Um, wow. So, yo, I, I, I uh -huh. put, she asked me if I have many children. <laughs> mm. 
Ahí se confundió porque tenía el do. Es que esa parte es bien confusa. Porque ve el do, nos hace pensar que es pregunta de sí o no. Entonces usted usó el if. Pero en realidad yes. aquí está el how, que nos está indicando que es de WH question. Entonces oh, es la versión okay. que dice, sería lo que dice Manuel, ¿verdad? He asked me how many children I had. Okay. How many children I had. That would be the right. Vamos a ver el número dos. Uh, where do you work? You would say, my neighbor asked me. He asked where, me. Uh -huh, or he asked me where I worked. Correct? Where I worked. Mm -hmm. Right. And then number three, when did you move to this city? He asked me. What would be the question? He asked me. When I moved. When I moved to the city, right? The city. Or when had I moved to the city? Either or. You uh -huh. can do, uh -huh. Okay, we're going to show them so you can check them by yourself. We have them here. Okay. No le podíamos poner he. Ellos quieren que usáramos toda la expresión. My new neighbor asked me. Y que pasáramos al report. Okay, my new neighbor asked me how many children I had. Okay. Si pusieron he asked me, por eso es que estaba dando error, ¿ok? Vuelvo y repito, no es que él estaba mal a su respuesta, es que la plataforma quería esas, esa oración. O sea, es Hola, todo. Ajá. Pero ustedes estaban ¿okay? He asked me where I worked. Vimos que está correcto. My neighbor asked me. Y aquí les dije, ¿ok? Como la pregunta ya está en pasado. ¿eh? Siempre busco un tiempo que le vaya más atrás de eso. Okay, si eso está en pasado, sería pasado perfecto. My neighbor asked me when I had moved to this city, right? And then my neighbor asked me when I would receive my furniture, right? El pasado okay, de un... si es así, tal vez sí lo agarra. Uh -huh. so, sí, porque a mí no me lo agarra. Todo eso yo lo, lo intenté, <coughs> si me entiendes, uh -huh. pero así, he asked me. No, uh -huh. my neighbor. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So now we know. Ahora ya no tenemos esto. Tomen la captura o anótenlo. Whatever, whichever works for you. La que les funcione. <coughs> right? And now we're going to check the next one. Sería 2.8. 2.8 says instructions read the following definitions and match them to the terms. Oh, this one we haven't seen it. Esto no lo hemos visto. Yes. Scroll down. Yeah, this one we haven't seen it. Esto no lo hemos visto, lo vamos a ver mañana en la sección de vocabulario que tenemos para mañana, right? So, don't worry about that one. Or do you have one in specific in this one? No, oh, okay. Todos ya hicieron esta, o no han llegado acá. Esposa con ese tipo de teacher. No, okay, right. So, listen. A compulsory contribution to state revenue. This is part of the vocabulary I'm going to show with you right now. And I would suggest to wait until we do the vocabulary tomorrow, but just as an advance, right? This is what we're going to do. It's a conversation that we're going to have. And but it's a long, it's kind of a long conversation, right? But then we will have some key vocabulary, right? In some phrases, just for you to know, all right? And then we also have the student's manual again. I'm gonna share it with you guys. If we go to the student's manual, we will be doing this, right? This I need two volunteers right now to read this conversation. One is gonna be Chris and one is gonna be Ricardo. We need two volunteers. Me Manuel, teacher. please read Chris and Manuel, please read Ricardo. Okay. Jorge, please. Okay, okay. I have been reading a lot about identify. Identity identify, theft. Identity theft. Mm -hmm online for the for the past few days a financial specialist asked banks how they plan 
to solve the issue with the identify theory. identity theory. Identity theory. Mm -hmm. What's what that anyway? Identity theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I use to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good, thank you. Okay, pronunciation, we go with identity. Identity, identity. theft, yes. theft, yes. Yeah. identity theft. Yes. And then we have financial. Financial. Financial, yes. And then we'll see here. This one is purchase. Purchase or purchase, either or, okay? And then thieves, thieves, thieves los ladrones, thieves, right? And then, no se dice recently, se dice recently. 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 Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's basically it for pronunciation, right? Identity theft and financial specialist, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Theft is the actual verb, and then thieves are the people that steal, right? That commit the theft, right? That's gonna be it for tonight. We're gonna check vocabulary tomorrow and exercise, and I'm gonna pass the list one more time. Vamos con Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present. Thank you. Linda Ivette Márquez. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Thank you, Maria Concepcion Ceron. Present. Thank you, Maria Elena Guadalupe. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present Miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina Villeda. Olga Marleni Gómez. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Tatiana Michelle Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie Eraso. Present teacher. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. I will see you all tomorrow so we can continue practicing this and learning more. All right. Have a good night, right, everybody. You. Nelson, Bye. 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 Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay. Blessings. Have a good night. Thank you as well. Hi, how are you, Nelson? Hello. How are you? Good, very good. Perfect. Okay. Estos 10 minutos son la asesoría, Nelson. Usted me dice que si hay algún tema que le gustaría ir a pasar, si hay algún comentario que tiene o tiene dudas en algo, usted me dice y lo, y lo revisamos. Ok. Tal vez quizá en esta última clase no me queda muy definitivo, teacher, en lo que este, por lo menos confundo bastante esto de, yo creo que estoy, el problema que tengo quizás sería tanto en los verbos, ¿verdad? Porque 
Eh, aprender lo que es el pasado, o por lo menos sea una, por lo menos que estamos practicando, si eh, lo directo o lo indirecto, ¿verdad? Si yo digo uh -huh. algo, bueno, pues, ella me dijo, ¿verdad? O este, ahí en de, un poco tengo un poco la dificultad, ¿verdad? Sí, básicamente en el reported speech, los temas que hemos, el, ¿qué es el tema que hemos estado viendo? Eso es lo que lo hemos estado desglosando entre la semana pasada. Y eso. El reported speech es cuando nosotros le contamos a alguien más lo que alguien nos dijo. ¿Ok? Les decía, se llama reported por eso, porque lo estamos reportando, lo estamos contando. Ya pasó. El momento en que nos lo dijeron ya pasó, así que cuando nosotros lo narramos ya es pasado. Okay. Ah, okay. No siempre lo voy a hacer en pasado simple. Va a depender de en qué tiempo esté la oración original. Ok. Por ejemplo, um, si aquí dice, Where are you going? Esta oración, ¿en qué tiempo está en eso? Where are you going? That's present progressive, ¿verdad? Ese es presente progresivo. Pasado. Ah, este es presente progresivo. Ajá. Entonces, yo Ajá. siempre voy a buscar el reported speech, siempre lo voy a buscar hacer usando el tiempo pasado. No siempre va a ser el pasado simple, va a ser el tiempo pasado del tiempo original. ¿Ok? Ajá. El tiempo original está en presente progresivo. Entonces, el pasado. O su, el pasado o su contraparte sería para reportarlo pasado progresivo. ¿Ok? Esta otra oración está en presente Ay. progresivo también. ¿Por qué está gritando él? Yo lo reporto usando pasado progresivo. Él me preguntó por qué estaba gritando él. ¿Okay? Mm. Uh -huh. No siempre va a ser pasado simple. A veces va a ser el pasado del tiempo que está en la oración original. ¿Okay? Uh, ah. Esta, por ejemplo, está en presente. Mire, what do you want? ¿Qué querés? Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiero? Yo la paso a reportar. Yo, ella me preguntó qué quería yo. ¿Ok? Yo lo cuento en pasado. Ella me preguntó qué quería yo. ¿Ok? Las reglas me dicen lo que estaba diciendo ahorita en la clase. En el sonido, de este, justo este que acaba de pasar. ¿Ok? Sí. Cuando yo voy a reportar preguntas de información. Preguntas que empiezan con WH. Por ejemplo, where are you going? WH. Información, ¿verdad? Why no, is he shouting? ¿Por qué está él gritando? Okay. What do you want? ¿Qué quieres? Son preguntas de información, no son preguntas de sí o no, son preguntas de información. La regla mm. me dice, Nelson, que cuando yo reporto esas preguntas, cuando yo cuento a alguien más preguntas, voy a usar siempre el sujeto antes del verbo to be. Sujeto antes del verbo to be. Sujeto antes del verbo. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, mm. where are you going? Yo no puedo decir, he asked me, where was I going? No. Tiene que ir el sujeto ante, where I was going. ¿Ok? En la número dos, why is he shouting? He asked me, why? Yo no puedo decir, why was he shouting? Uh -uh. He asked me, why he was shouting. Siempre va a ir el sujeto antes del verbo. Cuando yo reporto preguntas de información. Esto es específico para las preguntas de información, Luzano. Para las preguntas de sí o no. Ah, okay. ok. Y me dice, mire, este auxiliar do, si yo lo veo en una oración, y es una oración afirmativa, como esta, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. What do you want? Cuando yo uh -huh. la pase a reported, cuando yo la cambie a Nelson, no voy a usar el do, lo voto, no lo necesito. Uh -huh. Mire, what do you want? She asked me what I wanted. No ve el dúo en ninguna parte. No lo ve en pasado, no lo ve en nada. Porque no lo ocupa. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Excepto, la única excepción en la regla es si están usando el verbo do en una pregunta negativa. Negative uh -huh. question. Si la pregunta es negativa, uh -huh. sí voy a usar el pasado de do al reportarla. Cuando ocupe reported speech, voy a usar el pasado de do, que sería did. ¿Verdad? Entonces, pregunta negativa. Who doesn't like cheese? ¿A quién no le gusta el queso? Pregunta. Entonces, yo para reportarlo, ella me preguntó a quién no le gustaba el queso. ¿Sí? Ahí sí lo ocupo el queso. Ahí sí no vota el dos, solo que lo pasa ya en pasado. Exacto, lo paso pasado y se mantiene negativo. 
solo ocurre esto si es negativo el do, ¿ok? En la original, ¿ok? Si uh -huh. está en afirmativo o no. Entonces le decía, cuando son preguntas de WH o preguntas de información, reporto yo, ella me preguntó, él me preguntó, ella me preguntó. Y el sujeto va antes del verbo. Sujeto antes de verbo. Sujeto antes de verbo. ¿Ok? La única excepción a esta regla es cuando hay la combinación de estas preguntas. Ya sea quién, qué o cuál. Who, what o which. Más el verbo to be. Más un objeto. Ahí ya no va a ser que el sujeto va antes del verbo. Ahí tengo las dos opciones. Puede ir antes o después. Mire esta, por ejemplo. Who uh -huh. is the champion? Who, verbo to be, is, y el objeto de champion. Van, van juntitos. Una de las WH, el verbo to be, y un objeto. Who is the champion? Yo reporto la pregunta diciendo, she asked me who the champion was. O puedo hacer la regla, she asked me who was the champion. Cualquiera de las dos, Nelson, está correcto. Uh -huh. Eso es específicamente cuando la pregunta lleva el verbo to be y un objeto. Pues, okay. WH, verbo to be, un objeto después. Seguidito. Okay. Yo puedo decirle, she asked me what my favorite color was. O puedo decir, she asked me what was my favorite color. Tengo las dos opciones. Pero solo les puedo usar cuando va el verbo to be y un objeto a la par. ¿Ok? Eh, no sé si pudo copiar las respuestas que les di de la tarea. Nelson. Eh, sí, le tomé una captura. Perfecto. Ok. Pero por, ahorita... menos, ajá, pero lo que estaba viendo también en eso, teacher, es, uh -huh. eh, por lo menos acá vaya, si me hace la, la pregunta, eh, para saber cuándo es, eh, bueno, por lo menos vaya, ella me dijo que le gustaba el queso, puedo usar, él me dijo o ella me dijo, no sé. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Cualquiera. Es, Cualquiera, el, eh, sí, o sea, va a usar el que vaya a corte. Ok, si fue una mujer, es decir, ella me dijo. O ella, ella me dijo, dijo que le gustaba el queso. Ajá. Si fue un hombre el que se le dijo, él me dijo que le gustaba el queso. Ok. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Siempre va para que haga match. Fuera de eso, no, no hay mayor regla o ciencia que les tenga que dar. Eso es toda la, la, la esencia, digamos. Todo ah, lo okay. demás, nos vamos a acostumbrar a ello por práctica. Así como hicimos ya hoy, que lo habíamos practicado el miércoles, lo volvimos a hacer ahora, ya hoy ya lo manejamos. Entonces, con ah, este, igual, lo hicimos ahora, mañana lo repasamos. Ya el miércoles, primero día, ya lo tenemos nítido, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Eso va a ser todo por esta noche, Nelson. Espero verlo mañana. Descanse, reponga baterías y seguimos Gracias. mañana. Cuídese. Buenas noches.